number one, Jesse Webb Traders Pro. Market conditions uh, bearish in a bull market still. And we're seeing uh, the rank of that bull market at 14. What that means is we're starting to see this number right here. That represents this number. And it's uh, been starting to top out. It's really just been flattening here this last uh, this last two or three months. This chart represents a, this chart on the top represents one year. Uh, this one on the bottom actually represents 20 years. So don't get confused with this matching up with this because that doesn't happen. This is just simply looking at the last year, which essentially is really from, from this low to this high, this low, this bottoming process of this bear market, that's, that would have been down here as it's starting to move, momentum is shifting, and we get that crossover, that's happening here, and now we're at the upper end of that bull market. So it's not, not surprising that we're having some pausing right here, but now the question is, is it reversing entirely, or are we going to start to find some bounces here? So a couple of ideas for you to consider today, I'll look at those uh, momentum, which had been deeply uh, oversold has been starting to bounce we've talked about this three-part counter trend here which often happens and we're running into some support areas now um, and we're we're just really really oversold in terms of breadth let's let's jump into that in fact let's just jump here the buy sell ratio uh, this is you know it's it's it continued to extend we had this one more move down yesterday uh, the number that we're looking at down here is 0.13 that can get a lot lower, but some of the other areas to look at currently, if we look at the sectors list, you look at the buy-sell ratios across the board, there's some of these that are really, really oversold. In fact, let's look at the indexes because these indices have the Dow as one, so it's a 0 0.06 buy-sell ratio, S&P 500. Uh, Russell 1000 is at 0.09. S&P is at 0.07. Uh, those those levels are are really really low. 0.0 you know anything anything below 0.10 is is extremely oversold. Just look at the numbers right here. You've got almost 300 stocks, 100 in that hold range, and only 20 stocks in uptrends. That says one of two things. That's we're extremely oversold and we're going to bounce or this downtrend is nasty and it's going to get even more nasty. So uh, let's look at some of the possibilities here on S&P 500 utilizing SPY. Um, I'm going to pull in a couple of different chart patterns here and I'm going to change this back over to signals and I'm actually going to remove the volume off of that so we can just see the price a little bit more. We talked about this retracement pattern, this uptrend and this counter trend, and now we're inside of this buy zone where you get a 50 between a 50% 618 retracement. If I were to remove these lines, this upper one is our momentum zone and but if we remove those and we're just focusing on this range, you can see we're starting to get quite a bit of chopping activity inside of that. I think we're going to continue to see that it's it's a it's attempting a bottoming process right here now, but also look where it reacted right at this resistance area here gapped open reversed we got a bottoming now we're fighting now we're fighting inside of this zone we'll, we'll see which one ends up uh, winning right here but that's what we want to see now is we want to see this uh, this support area starting to hold on s p 500 uh, if it's going to turn if it's not then we're obviously in a pretty nasty downtrend and that may end up continuing the one year chart on this is looking at uh, uh, that 416 range. That 416 range is going to be also right here with this support area. And we're right inside of that uh, that range. There's a little support right here that's holding. But if we were to continue to slide and hit that 416 level, that really could uh, op offer an opportunity for some buyers to come into the market. I don't. Who knows what that catalyst level is going to be, though, uh, going forward. The new buy list, there's not very many right now. Uh, usually that's pretty full. But again, market conditions are just pretty horrendous right here but let's see what the, some of these stocks are mltx which is a biomed stock actually really nice looking uh, momentum it's in that momentum zone to the upside right here probably an earnings gap and then it retraced found some support and is starting to move that direction higher so very very select stocks are continuing to to have some moves here augx which is another medical stock also moving higher in that uptrend 
and AE, which is an aerospace stock, uh, a, a little bit a little bit compelling here. Not quite up into that momentum zone quite yet, but it is finding some support and uh, starting to uh, starting to to make that move. At least get some constructive move higher. Let's take a look at a couple of the others here and see if there's anything interesting. FNGR. This is a this is a pretty high flyer, high flying stock. It's up twelve percent. It's had a big move from a dollar to six, and then retracing back down again. That might be want to, to add into the watch list and keep an eye on how it uh, moves because it's it's got some interest obviously and some volatility and can certainly be moving uh, P, uh, P, petq a nice breakout here as well nine uh, percent on that move it's closing above this high and uh, that that actually is a nice momentum style stock uh, looking for that breakout and confirmation moving higher that'll do it for today's update everybody have a fantastic day today